hold up. Sean Briscoe misjudged it. Barnett. Been in tremendous form. Hull's captain. Best from dummy half. Makes 10. Up to the 40 metre line. And Swain to dummy half. Misses King out. McNicholas. Big bust up the mid by the middle. But McNicholas to Briscoe. They won't catch him. Hughes is in pursuit, but he won't get him. McNicholas with oceans of space. And Sean Briscoe supporting on the inside. He's been. So Paul Cook chips it over. We've been playing just four minutes and the score is Hull six. Tackled by Julian O'Neill. Swain. King. King. King still going. Gets rid of it. Swain. Hull. Lupton. Oh, McNenemy. Easy, easy. Had two men free outside of him. An easy try there for Hull, just quick hands, support play, witness all at sea. Yeah, once the ball got away from Paul King there, witness was struggling, men coming in, Hull some swift passing to the right, Richard Horn, and then McManamy sized up the situation, had a two, three men outside him, two witness defenders and a big gap. And Hull make it count from uh, the repeat set. Witness a break a uh, change. They're bringing off, bringing on Dion Bird, and off comes David Mills. Good spell of attack this from Witness coming from that darting run by Jules O'Neill to set up the attacking situation. Face ball to Myla, chance on the outside. Mule steps inside. Oh, he almost got out the tackle. It was a crucial tackle by Richard Horn in the end, but McCulley's going for the line. He can't get the ball down. Four whole players driving back. Myler kicks high. It's a great kick. Oh, it's a great slide! What a catch by Adam Hughes. He towered above the defenders, took the ball high and kept possession. Superb kick by uh, Stephen Myler. And a great towering catch. He's a tall lad anyway, Adam Hughes. He outjumped the defence and he outstretched them. The Vikings back in the game. Uh, an excellent kick by uh, Stephen Myler. I think it would have come down just this side of the line anyway if Hull had taken it. And he's kicked it. So witness, six points to ten behind now. And it's very difficult playing two big, tough games in the space of four days. Credit to both sets of players. Jules O'Neill adds the conversion. And witness back an hour, 8-10 with seven minutes to go till half-time. Perhaps the final chance for the Vikings to attack the whole line before half-time. Jules again takes the ball forward, nice inside step by Dion Bird. Witness coming forward again with momentum here. Short side, again the drop-off. Jules is well tackled. But he managed to keep hold of the ball. Carvel looking for the one-on-one -on -one steal. Myler, kick to this corner this time. Good kick, great chase by Giles. Giles gets it! Oh, what a slide! Chris Giles, well, he must be a foot shorter than Colin Best but somehow he managed to outleap. Very difficult when you're the fan to take the long-term view on things. Each game seems to be the be-all and end-all sometimes. That's a great kick by Jules. It sneaks inside the left hand upright and the Vikings take the lead by 14 points to 10 right on the half-time. Just to the left of the posts. The witness drummer starts up, but I don't think it'll make any difference to Paul Cook. Oh, chips it over to win the score to witness 14, hold 12. Over the witness 40. Witness two point lead. McNicholas, fifth and last, hold 30 meters out. To Lupton. A bomb that's reverse angle a bit onto witness's fullback. Drops it, and here's Paul Cook with Hull's opening try of the second half. And it's a gift. Well, if uh, Witness have undone Hull with a couple of bombs. Good kick by Paul Cook. Brings the score to Witness 14, Hull 18. Inside the 30-metre line, so he can't be 10 metres away, but uh, 
It's near the Hainor though, hopefully the ball won't go in that direction. Great kick from Jules. With us now, just two points behind. And Jules this time will put the ball to touch. Well, it doesn't go to touch. And the witness chase, I think, expecting a scrum then. And here comes Richard Horn. Great relieving run from Richard Horn. Taking play almost back to the 30 metre line. Real quality there. Oh, Barnett gives it to Hughes. Hughes on the inside. Here's a witness try. Here's a witness try in the corner. Richie Barnett's mistake. The young winger got away from, got away by uh, Adam Hughes and a great try, Gary. Oh, brilliant reaction by Adam Hughes. He went for the intercept and uh, it almost bounced away from him. He caught it superbly. Ball to Jules O'Neill. Chance in the, well, there's a gap there. The ball patted back. Aiterson gets the ball out to Adam Moon. He steps inside. Still going. Final one for the Vikings. Good defence by Hull FC. McCulley's going for the corner. Steve McCulley's in at the corner. A great drive for Winders. Tremendous momentum was maintained after that awesome towering kick. Millard. Last one for Witness. Mills is here. Drop goal's coming. It's over. Oh, great snapshot. Drop goal by Jules O'Neill. Quick thinking. A good ball from behind the play of the ball. And under pressure, Jules gets the one pointer. Millard to Hay. Hay Dummies. Had a very steady game this afternoon, Andy Hay. Eight minutes left. Dummy to... Uh, oh, there's a chance there. And Aiterson. Oh, he gets the ball back to O'Neill. O'Neill. O'Neill has scored. That is it. It must be over for the Vikings. Lovely play. Great play by Aiterson. Flicked the ball back. Jules O'Neill showed the ball a couple of times and stretched that. And he does. You can tell by the shouts on the crowd. So we've got about seven minutes left of the score. Witness 31, Hull 18. 20 minutes when they really did play well, but Witness showed tremendous resilience in coming back to it, and really they've dominated the second half. They weren't perturbed by Hull scoring in the first few minutes. They worked their way downfield. The go-forward's been better. The kicking distribution of Julian O'Neill, who's just going to finish it with a drop goal, has been outstanding. Well, that, and uh, I agree with you, I think there was only one candidate. Been a very good team performance from Witness, but there has been a standout performance, and it was Julian O'Neill, the Witness standoff. And he's finished the game with a drop goal.